Yesterday we learned in uh, Halachot Beta Knesset that Harab Ben Ishchai Alav Shalom tells us that we need to uh, be one of the Asara coming to Beta Knesset and we should not be the one who um, causes the, Shekhinah, the Shekhinah to leave Beta Knesset. And we explained that if there are 10 individuals, 10 men in Beta Knesset, and by making it nine, the 10th person who leaves the Beta Knesset, he causes the Shekhinah to leave. And that is not a good thing, and a person should avoid that. So I had a question, so if, if that's the case, this could happen every day. Every day, a person could break up the, uh, the Asara in Beta Knesset, and that individual could uh, cause the Shekhinah to leave Beta Knesset, which is not a good thing. So what's the solution? So I had the privilege to talk to um, one of my uh, good friends, Harav Lachamim Niktavesh Shalita from Yerushalayim. He's the Talmud of Harav Yaakov Hillel Shalita. And I asked him this, this question. He told me that there is an interesting Kafe uh, Chaim, that Kafe Chaim used to, uh, used to uh, finish his tefillah right after Aleinu Neshabiach he would leave Bet HaKnesset that he should not be one of those who would cause the Shekhinah to leave. So he should be one of, one of the people before it reaches to 10. And not only this, that Kafe Chaim did this in order that people should not come to him and start schmoozing and making the vrei chol in Bet HaKnesset. Um, and also I was told by Harav Niklavesh Shalita that uh, there is a minhag people do that number 10 and number 11, they live together. Number 10 and number 11, they live together. This way, two people live together. They uh, live from the door that is not one person who is breaking the minyan and is not... There is no tenth exactly. Two left together. So indeed, there is nine left. But none of these two become mechuyav. They left together. So apparently, this is a, this is another solution. We don't consider that both to be. Uh, a very good question. So apparently, this is not a, a problem. This would not uh, 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 obligate both of them uh, breaking uh, uh, shekhinah, uh, uh, causing shekhinah to leave. Okay, halacha gimel. Hanichnas la beta knesset izahel leit akev meat be petach kodem sheikanes. A person who comes to beta knesset, he should uh, wait a little bit by the uh, entrance. He should wait a little bit by the entrance before entering to beta knesset. Ula al ot asmo yare. In order that he should prepare himself. You know, when you run into a room and you're not prepared, it's not nice. It doesn't, it doesn't, have, uh, uh, it doesn't have the feeling of ah. Uh, oh. You want to come to Beta Knesset, waiting by the door a little bit, reminding yourself that you're coming to the palace of Hashem. Right? Here, here now has the Dean of Beta Knesset, I believe, because we pray here, right? We pray here. Over here also we have to respect, uh, we, uh, we have to show a lot of respect. Um, I think here has a, we need to clarify this uh, from Harav, but I believe over here also we have to be very Zahir. So once you come to a place that there is Shekhinah right here, you need to act with certain awareness and that awareness is something that we need to prepare right before coming to Beit HaKnesset by waiting you know for a second or two by the uh, entrance and Harab Ben Ishqayol explains that this helps a lot with obtaining Shalemut 
a person can become shalem through this and it it helps his uh, understanding and there is a sword there is a sword umiqdash tirau from pasuk in vayikra umiqdash tirau that one should fear the house of hashem ze ma sha'am ru bagemara dar fish de gemara says be inyan akhitofel that akhitofel taught david hamelakh ala wa shalom from the pasuk be bet elokim nahalakh beragesh that in the house of Hashem, one needs to deal with Ragesh. The translation of Ragesh, it's with awe, ah, with preparations, with understanding that here is a place of Hashem. I don't believe there is one word explaining the Ragesh. Sheigash Adam v'izdazdea be'et kenisato be'et elokim. That there is certain sort, there is a certain certain sword in this that one who comes to Beta Knesset he needs to feel right, this is different this is a place of a uh, dwelling of Shekhinah of Haqadosh Baruch Hu. unfortunately by Avonotein or Harabim we don't have Beit HaMikdash Ezzat Hashem should be built in our times Bimhrabi Amen Amen but in the Mikdash Me'at uh, the Beta, Beta Knesset and uh, Batem is a short one needs to act with this uh, feeling of uh, fear and awe that this way he comes to uh, show true respect to Agadosh Baruch Hu. Okay, in the Sefer Keter Malchut, in the Sefer Keter Malchut brings over there the whole yom that she connects the Beit Hakneset. Ya Amot be Petach va Yomer Pasuk. Every day, this is a practical. Every day that we come to Beit Hakneset, right? Uh, while you stand by the entrance, you, sh- you should say certain pesukim. These pesukim are brought in the uh, sidurim, in Dere uh, Hashem, in many sidurim you could find it, Avodat Hashem. So one should say, Hashem Sevakot Imanu, the master of the legions, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Miskav Lanu, Elokei Yaakov Sela, HaKadosh Baruch is going to uh, help us, assist us in the times of need. Hashem, the Creator, uh, you know the the the, the Hashem of uh, of Yaakov Avinu forever. He's going to rescue us. And then there is another pasuk. Uh, pasuk shall Avraham Avinu is the pasuk that is uh, related to Avraham Avinu. Allah Shalom. Pasuk uh, Hashem sevakot Hashem Adam botechbach. Hashem, the Master of the Legions, praiseworthy if the person who gives his bitachon and his trust to Hakadosh Baruch Hu, one should say this pasuk. And then there is another pasuk that is uh, related to Isra Gavinu, Allah wa Shalom. Right? Hashem, O Shia, Hamelech, Ya'anenu, Biyom, Gorenu. Hashem, my, uh, my, uh, my Savior, right? uh, my King, uh, please uh, answer when I uh, reach out to you, when I cry out to you. Right? And there is another pasuk that is connected to Yaakov Avinu, Allah wa Shalom. Right? Uh, that... Uh, uh, who, I think this last pasuk was related to uh, Yaakov Avinu. Maybe I miss, uh, I, I did not say it in the order. But in this way, you're going to say three pasukim: Abraham, Isaac, and Yaakov. Each one of them by the entrance. This way, when you come to Beit Hakneset, you get a uh, uplift. Right? and how good this is that one who could say this pasukim by the entrance. Veim lo shar. And if it's not possible, you know, you're rushing in or no time, or you don't remember the Pesukim, you cannot say this Pesukim, right? So at least one should say during the weekdays, uh, that that Pesuk should be said, right? And when a person is, ha- is having to fill in, Right. Uh, also, that pasuk is said um, on Shabbat and Yom Tov. The pasuk Vayaniber of Chastecha can be also mentioned. I'm not, I'm not understanding exactly over here. We need to remember this. There is certain inyan that one who comes to Beit Hakneset while he he has his tefillin on. Right. It's more appropriate to say this pasuk Ani Abo Etecha 
that I come right, and I bow down towards your Hechar uh, Shecha. Right, uh, that which David Hamelech teaches us. Right. So Bezat Hashem Agodushbach should help us that um, we keep in mind that when we come to Beta Knesset, it's a makom that Shekhinah is resting there, and we act accordingly. Bibi Chananiyah Menachem Shemar Lasar Agodushbach Chul Lezakot Israel Lefikach Ibanaim Torah Mitzvot.